You're the national director for MUFON, and Marcus and I are super curious on what you have to say and think and feel around these recent events <laughs> with the balloon that was shot down, you know, on the east coast of the states. It's a weather the optic, balloon. <laughs> that, yeah, that was shot down over Alaska. And then and yesterday, you, you know, Trudeau ordered an object shot down over Canada. Now, the one that was shot down over Canada, I've just got the Globe and Mail up here, and they're, you know, they're saying that they named um, somebody who wasn't authorized to talk to the media. It says, but a government official told the Globe and Mail Saturday it was believed to be a surveillance balloon of Chinese or Russian origin. The Globe is not naming the government official because they were not authorized to speak publicly on the matter. So what's your position? What do you think from where you sit? as head of MUFON Canada, what's well, your thoughts on all this stuff that's happening? I'll tell you what I know first, okay. officially, and then I'll tell you what I think. First of all, forget about the weather, the weather balloon from China, the very first one. It was a balloon, obviously. That's that's the one time where the oil swamp gas and weather balloons was correct. The second one over Alaska was, they kept saying the size of a small car. Well, the truth is it was a cylindrical object. About the yes, size of yes, small car. yes, and, and I've seen video. Been made public. That has been made public. I've seen the video of that one, yeah, and it, yeah, it yes, turns. It yeah, turns. yesterday's was the identical object. It was. Yes, now, that's it, was it was not a weather balloon. It was the identical object as the first one. And okay. That's, that's official, not official. It's not public knowledge yet. That is a ruse to tell you it was a weather balloon. That is not the truth. Okay, now, Dave, I've seen video of the one over Alaska, and it tumbles. It yep. turns. Yeah. Now, if it's a balloon, like, you know, for years, I flew hot air balloons. They don't tumble. No. And when you're in the sky at a given altitude, in the balloon itself, you feel like you're still and not even moving because you're in uniform air. All of that air is moving mm -hmm. in a homogenous way. It's all moving together. Right. So relative to that air, you don't feel any movement of air. So no, you part don't. of it. And your balloon certainly does not tumble. It doesn't turn. It's part of that air, and it's just gently moving across it's with part the of the air. air. It's a piece of air. It's it, part it, of the air. So when I saw that video where this is tumbling, wh what does that tell you? It tells me it was a UFO or UAP. And uh, I mean, Rob, your analysis is right. Think about you're sitting in a car. The car is doing 100 kilometers an hour. Is your body doing 100 kilometers an hour? Yes, but do you feel it? No. You only feel it when you look out the window and see everything flip as and by. So the balloon is part of the air. The only way exactly. it can be tumbling is if it's under propulsion or it's out of control. Uh, it's going against the winds. It's It's got, uh, you know, an, an envelope around it that uh, takes the disturbances of the wind and moves it around so it's on its own. The first one definitely was, uh, it was almost the same as a Tic Tac. Oh boy, what's that? 2014, a eh? Tic Tac off the Nimitz. Um, so yesterday is unofficially confirmed to be the same, uh, out of control something. I can't wait until our government might release something Yeah, with American approval, right? We're not going to hear anything. We're not going to know. Uh, we're not invited to participate, obviously. Uh, so I don't know what's going to happen, but two in a row kind of makes you wonder what's going on. And the fact is, everybody can say, look, if it's a UFO, they wouldn't be able to be shooting shooting them down. Yeah, well, if it's an unmanned uh, drone uh, from a mothership, you know, to spy, just like China sent their spy balloon or to gather intelligence or gather something, energy, you minerals, who knows? We don't know the technology so far ahead of us. Um you know, and I'll, I'll stop right there and say, how did they know it was unmanned, by the way? Both unmanned. <laughs> That's why they shot him down. Here's a thought for you. You know, the Tic Tac. Yeah. It went from 30,000 feet to sea level in a second. Yes. Now, when I talked to Lou Elizondo about it, he said, Rob, there's two different references here. The pilot sees the Tic Tac, you know, go from 30,000 down to sea level in a split second. Now, if you move yourself to the other reference of being in the Tic Tac, say there's occupants in the Tic Tac, what they see and feel is very different. This is what Lou told me. He said they can manipulate space, time, and gravity. So when they look outside their craft, they see 
you know, all these guys in their jet fighters almost sitting there still or mm-hmm. moving incredibly slow. And he said in the Tic Tac, they would likely be going from 30,000 feet down to sea level at a normal rate of speed that that craft can handle, that their bodies can handle. Yeah, and okay. they're, they're in a different time dimension. Yes. yes. I hate so, to say it, it's Star Trek all over where they get people off in different time dimensions and they're zipping around, but they're normal. They're going to normal speed. I've always believed that theory for years. Yes. Yeah, so here's my thought. If these beings have the technology to manipulate space-time and gravity, I, I'm, I'm also, you know, People around me have said, well, don't you think they have the technology not to be shot down? Well, yes, I believe that. So therefore, if a UAP gets shot down, maybe they wanted it to get shot down. Or maybe maybe this is part of disclosure. Yeah, that they're they're allowing their you know, scout ships, their drones, surveillance craft to get shot down and be discovered. Maybe this is maybe this is just them forcing disclosure a little bit faster the other possibility is they got caught turning it all off sitting staying motionless with all that that turned off so they were in the same time frame uh sync that we were in that's why it got shot down they didn't ramp up fast enough to move and that's the other possibility but i believe these things are uh unmanned or have ai running them in any ways uh and i still believe that ufos coming from zillions of light years away are not actual living creatures they're uh they're all uh, robots or AI or like the, the big tall greys, which they're pretty sure are, are not living beings. They're uh, androids, if you want to call them that, or human. What are they? What's the other word? Humanoids. Uh, anyways. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I believe there's a couple things going on, but I also believe we're never going to find out. Okay. So another question. I'm just throwing up questions here for stimulation of thought. Yeah. But you know how this Chinese. Uh, weather balloon, you know, came across Alaska into Canada and then down through the States. Now, this was a few days ahead of these two events, Mm -hmm. Friday and Saturday. Is it possible that somehow the Chinese had advanced information that these things were happening over Alaska with the UAPs and they sent a surveillance balloon? They launched it to coincide with the weather pattern so that the winds would take it directly through that same area so they could get close-up shots of it you know slow nice and slow shots from a low altitude except that they weren't quite correct on their timeline or maybe they may maybe they maybe they do have shots of it and maybe these two friday and saturday have just been discovered by the u.s and canada maybe there was many more that this china balloon have already photographed and gotten instrumentation on is yeah. that possible? Oh, it's is quite possible? possible. It's quite possible because I would launch a balloon because it's slow and steady and it's above no threat to the UAP. Whereas every time we said fighter jets and they move all over the place, right? They they could see that that balloon and go, ha, what's this? And just ignore it. Exactly. And they may think it's a weather balloon. I mean, it was yeah. set up to appear as a weather balloon, right? So if the Chinese had knowledge that this was going on and sent something to to uh do surveillance on these uaps then yeah the weather balloon was a fantastic idea but weather balloons <laughs> have no propulsion or control of propulsion in their own man so yeah i think they screwed up the timing but who knows what it was maybe they're just trying to spy on everything who knows i mean there's quite a war going on back behind the scenes between canada china u.s and china uk and china um and of course all because of china trying to you know take over taiwan yeah, now also, you, you know, we're going to have many people say that this is the start of the false flag operation. Quite possible. And that this is, you know, it's all just government setting all this up so that the public will get behind the government and give permission to open up the purse strings for military spending. In space. Which, yeah, what's your well, thoughts around this? Well, they kind of did that a little bit with NASA's little group that was supposed to look at uh, anomalies outside of the Earth, and they're supposed to report back by now. They have not. Now I'm hearing it's going to be April. Arrow was supposed to report back on something again. Now I'm hearing it's also April to coincide with the NASA report. So is disclosure coming or is this false flag? It's going to be one or the other, nothing more. 
Okay. I can't think of any other possibility. It's going to be full disclosure. It's going to be a false flag to get money, get due. You know, military makes money. It's, it's all about funding.